welcome back in this video we will send a message not a message we will send number of messages in this video so let's get started first of all I want to show you that in the last video we were facing an error that was when we click on this this back button wasn't appearing here so the problem was I just forgot to give this ID to this one there was no problem otherwise so uh, I just give it an ID and now it's working perfectly fine but no as you can see that it's appearing here whatsapp so we don't want this so we can okay perfect so as you can see that now the title is gone so this was the function set title you need to just specify empty here so now we need to create our message activity layout so I'm going to go to my activity underscore messages and just get out of this toolbar and I'm going to add an edit text it's going to be for now wrap content and wrap content and I want this edit text to be at the bottom of the page let me go to designer perfect now I want an, a button maybe image button so I can just place it over there and I want to fetch from here from Android is send okay and just change its background to first of all just make it like this and just change its background color primary so just remove this because it wasn't looking that good we will design it later so I will use another uh, button at this place for now I'm going with this one so next thing we need to add is is to attach this edit text with this button and make its width match constraint perfect so now we need to add recycler view here at the top we want this to display our messages and just make its height match constraint width also for width we need to attach it on all sides then we can change its width to match constraint perfect so just give it an id <coughs> messages recycler view and edit text message text and this one btn send perfect so 
now we have I'm just going to change its tint color color primary and just changing its size a little bit bigger so I'm going to make it a TDP and a TDP and just change this to btn send message text so now it's looking really fine so now I'm going to go to our ma uh, message activity and just find these views txt message and the other one is image button and it's actually the send button and I'm going to attach them so now I'm going to make a click listener on this button and I'm going to call a function first of all let's grab the text inside message so create new java class for a message it's going to have three members string sender string receiver string message and another thing is string scene or boolean scene maybe so alt in there to generate a constructor for this one make them all public perfect so just go there and just create it's going to have message alt enter to import it message okay message one is equal to 
or you can name it chat new message and we need to pass the sender id and sender id the id that we have got from the previous activity and the next is the receiver id it's actually the current user id so i'm go going to get that m auth sorry it's auth let me check what's the name of authentication we haven't created yet so let me create that firebase auth m auth and m auth is equal to firebase and then when we can use it like this m auth <coughs> dot get current user dot get uid this will be the okay i just inverted these two things this is actually sender uh, that's myself and this is the receiver id and next is going to be the message and the third attribute is seen that is for now false by default so I want this chat to be passed to send message and now I'm going to create this function so it is been created here so we need to get reference to firebase reference is equal to sorry it's database reference firebase database dot sorry it's yes it was firebase database dot get reference and get reference to chat segment and inside chats I'm going to push this message reference dot set value and it's going to be the message sorry it's going to be chat but let's change this one to dot child okay so let's make it dot child and it's going to be chats and dot push push will generate a random id for us and now we can set this uh, value and i'm going to add on completion listener new on completion listener and I'm going to just make a toast that message sent perfect so I'm just going to run it
go to contacts and just go to one user and just type in something here like this is a message just hit send button it says message sent so let me check out in my firebase console so let's get to console.firebase.com and the other thing is just we need to set the text to empty because when the message is sent this should text should go away so we can do that by just txt message dot set text after sending this message it should get empty so let me check it here now database real time database okay so it has loaded up so if I go to the chat segment now we have one message this is a message and let me send another one this second message send and let me just get this is not been sent maybe I need to ok so it it is there but it took a little bit of time second message maybe network is slow so this is the second message so as you can see that we have been able to send our messages in the next few videos we will display our messages over in over this area so see you in the next videos thanks for watching this video